After King Edmund was murdered, his younger brother Edred succeeded as king and continued to defend the country from Viking invasions. He was chosen as king by the Wishon above Edmund's own children who were still children at the time. Edred proved himself to be a worthy leader, though his life was ultimately cut short due to ill health. Born around 923, he was a son of Edward the Elder and Eadgafu. His father died a year later and his brother Ethelstan became king. During his time as king, Ethelstan conquered the northern Viking stronghold of York and passed the kingdom to his younger brothers. When Edred became king, he had the responsibility of retaining these lands and fending off the Vikings. On the 16th of August 946, Edred was crowned at Kingston upon Thames and he kept his brother's advisers, as he trusted their judgment. As soon as he became king, Edred received the submission of the northern earls as well as the Welsh rulers. Whilst this increased his power, he inherited a fragile power that could be easily toppled if he did not assert his control over all areas of his domain. Though Edred received the submission of Northumbria, Wales and Scotland, this would remain temporary. Northumbria fell back into the hands of the Viking ruler and former king of Norway, Eric Bloodaxe. Eric had been invited by the Northumbrians as well as the Archbishop of York who switched their allegiance to the Vikings. The king responded quickly and marched his army north, where they burned Ripon and ravaged Northumbria. Edred made it clear he meant business, and they would face further threats of violence if they did not swear allegiance to him, and end their support to Eric. They quickly renounced their support of Eric. Edred captured the Archbishop in 952, and had him imprisoned. While he was occupied with the Archbishop, Olaf Sithrison established himself as the new King of Northumbria and Eric Bloodaxe as King of York. In an ambush by Edred's followers, Eric was killed and Olaf fled back to Ireland. Edred would retain his lands for the remainder of his reign. The King continued to defend his territory, inheritance and power, securing it for the next generation. During his reign, the monastic reform movement was still in its infancy. The king developed a close bond with Dunstan, the abbot of Glastonbury, and this support of Dunstan contributed to the revival. Dunstan was given more authority by the king and was allowed to issue charters on behalf of the king when Edred's health began to fail. Edred passed away on the 23rd of November, 955, unmarried and without heirs. His throne passed to his nephew, Edivig.